So, did you enjoy your day in court? Allow me to explain. Welcome to part eight, expanding your horizons. I'm John Felito, your 90 day game facility player and coach. Well, in this part, I want you to continue to be an alert witness of your inner dialogue. And when you notice thoughts that are not aligned with your intention, visit the courtroom and create empowering affirmations. Update your meaningful intention statement regularly with them or pop them in your pocket. The more attention, the better. Now on to part eight. Get ready for a robust two full weeks of new mind games and more. Too much to address here. As you step into week 10, this is what I'd like you to get. As with all mind games, they bring into harmony the outer reality with our inner reality, creating Carl Jung's synchronicity, our blue Chevys and all SEMB resources into congruent alignment. As a budding alert witness and player in command, you are listening, attentive, directing your attention to your self-talk. Last week, you identified incongruent beliefs, brought them to court, and created empowering affirmations aligned with your intention. And I trust you added them to your meaningful intention statement, where you will repeat them daily, or nearly so. Unlike the guest house, the courtroom was a far more intellectual exercise, where you were seeking rational evidence of beliefs. Now it is the sacred gift's turn to internalize your rational findings through emotion and metaphor by returning to the garden. There you will weed and feed your metaphoric garden and reaffirm beliefs in alignment with your intent. Harmonious, congruent alignment. In very real terms, your beliefs create your personal reality. In week 11 of this part eight, you'll deepen your understanding of how beliefs are formed as we cover the anatomy of belief. As you uncover the roots of where your beliefs came from, be it authority figures in your early years or influences from the social hypnosis, strong emotion of resentment may come up. But the blame game is not a game we play here at the 90 day game. As players, we accept that there is no one to blame. We realize it was the meaning we assigned to those people and events that affected us, not the people and events themselves. Taking responsibility may be noble, and perhaps it's a sign of strong character. But from a practical point of view, it is only when we take the ownership that we can restore the energy drain that comes from anger, resentment, and hostility. This is where the Rewind, Review, Recreate exercise comes into play. The Rewind, Review, and Recreate mind game enables you to not only release the past, additionally, you will replace anger, resentment, and hostility with understanding, forgiveness, compassion, and love for yourself and others. You will bless the past and embrace the present and move forward with powerful energy, confidence, and optimism. And here's another topic, an important one I'd like to highlight right now. If you're like most of my entrepreneurial clients, which you likely are for taking this on, you are a highly motivated individual that passionate way of being can get the best of us fixated on our mission. We don't want to be racehorses with blinders on, do we? Remember the man with the machete hacking those weeds? We want to keep our heads up and have a good look around. It is important to view our intentions in the context of our entire lives, keeping in mind what really matters. All fabulous five areas of our life, health and wellness, career and finance, relationships, recreation, I sometimes like to say recreation, revitalization, and contribution. Now direct attention closely to the stories you're about to read. As with all of the stories in the game book, with the exception of Carl, every story is a real life story with real life people and real life consequences. What good is it to create something wonderful in your life while other areas of your life collapse. You'll read about people in business who achieved great financial success and found themselves divorced from their spouses and their children as well. I say found themselves because they really didn't see it coming. 
like that new coaching client that told me he was so focused on his work that one day he looked down with great surprise to see his massive belly asking, where did that come from? Well, lighter indeed, but still troubling and risky too. Yes, they didn't see it coming. And we know people can make themselves very ill and sometimes they find out too late. With this fixation tendency in mind, you're invited to yet another mind game, the Fabulous Five Mind Game. It will guide you to appreciate the fullness of your fabulous life. You will direct attention to the riches present within your fabulous life and the successes within them and the practical next step you will take to enhance them all the more. Each of these areas influence the other. Challenges in any one area can impede the progress or quality of the others. Why not bring congruent harmony to your whole fabulous life? All of what I mentioned today will support you in aligning your outer reality with your inner reality. Recapture energy and redeploy it to enjoy your life and your creations. Feel and actually be in command knowing all areas of your life are in order. Enjoy a cool head and a warm heart, focusing on what truly matters. Coming up, it will be part nine, the last part of this series. You'll have a chunk of days to practice game plays and practices, then take your victory lap. You'll set the intention for the going forward and congratulate yourself for becoming officially a player in command. And I'll look forward to meeting you at one of our interactive events. Now go ahead and enjoy playing lots of new mind games and more in part eight. I'm John Felito, your 90-day game facility player and coach. Looking forward to seeing you again soon.